Hey, what is up guys? It's Brendan here and today I'm going to be showing you how to change the order of your products on Shopify. And this is a very common thing that you may see once you've already created some collections on your Shopify store and you come to find that you're like, hey, why are these sorted in this particular order? How can I edit them and customize them to your own liking? There's a variety of different ways that you can go about doing this as well to change the overall order uh, of the products in your Shopify store to customize them so that you can get just exactly how you would like your customers to be able to see those products. Now, before we dive into things, of course, I do want to mention if you don't already have a Shopify store, you can go and check out that first link down below in the video description. That's brennavaleski.com forward slash Shopify. It will take you right over to this page here where you can get started with a Shopify free trial. Again, that's that first link down below in the video description. And without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the tutorial. So, of course, first things first, you're going to want to make sure that you are, of course, logged into your Shopify store. Next, you're going to come over here to products. Now, of course, you will need to have at least added uh, a few products to your Shopify store in order to <laughs> change the order of the products in your Shopify store. Um, now you're going to add the products. Once you've added at least like I'd say at least two products at minimum, um, you're going to see them populated here in the store. Now as you can see here, we have a wide variety of different types of example products I have already added to this tutorial store. Uh, so that part of this process is taken care of. But if you don't already have a product, all you got to do is come up here to the top right hand corner and go ahead and add a product, of course, to your Shopify store. Now we're gonna actually go back because we already have products, but that's what you do. You click it right there, right? Okay, and you click save and you've added some products. Now, once you've added products, next you're gonna come over here to the left-hand side. We're gonna select collections. And this is really the key area that you're going to wanna navigate to in order to change the order of those products. Now, the test collection that I have here pulled up on screen on the store uh, is the watch collection. So what you're going to do is you're going to create a collection um, or it, maybe if you already have a collection, all you have to do is go in and edit it. Um, so you're gonna wanna create a collection first. You go in, you add the product. So once you've done that, um, you have the collection here, for example, like in this tutorial, we're gonna be utilizing the watch collection. Uh, and as you can see here, I have created this watch collection here uh, with a wide variety of different types of watches that are in this Shopify store. Um, as products. Now, the way that this works now, I actually have this set up as sort of like an automatic collection where products are automatically added as long as it has Rolex in the title. Um, but to actually change the order, all you have to do is come down here uh, to the product section and you're going to click on sort. Now by default, a lot of these collections are going to sort by best selling. As you can see here on the actual site, you see it's sort by best selling. Now, if you want to sort this and customize that order, what you're going to want to do more than likely is come all the way down here to manually. And then that will then update the collection order so that you can manually sort these products however you see fit um, for a given collection. And this will then reflect automatically on your Shopify store uh, once you have changed the order. So uh, as you can see here by default, we have the Daytona, Submariner, Sea Dweller, Deep Sea um, as the first three. What we're gonna do is actually move the Perpetual and the Datejust and the Gold Watch. We're gonna move those a little bit higher so you can see the difference here. At least let's just start with the Gold Watch. So the product is now reordered. Uh, and it will then, okay, products reordered, right? And it's already active and saved on the store. Um, so then all we have to do is refresh the watch collection. And as you can see here now, it is featured uh, with the featured order is automatically published on the store. Uh, and you can see that the uh, gold Rolex watch is in that first position. So this is how you change the order of your products. You do have to change um, the sorting, you know, you go to products, you sort, manually. Now you can also choose to sort by best selling if you want, um, or you can sort it by the product title A to Z, Z to A, highest price, lowest price, newest, oldest. Um, I get most of you guys probably want to sort manually, um, but you do also have these other options available as well. If you do want that to automatically appear on your store when customers come to the collection pages for your products, as you've built out these collections in your Shopify store, um, and that's what it will appear with. You can automatically have it show any of these other sorting options or like we have here with the custom manual order um, is how you change that order manually uh, in your store. And it will just appear as sort by featured and it will automatically appear as featured. So if we go back to the homepage of the Shopify store, click on collections, we go back to the watch collection page. 
as you can see here, it still is with that gold watch there. Uh, and if we want to move any other products, maybe we just move the default Rolex watch to position two. Uh, we go ahead and refresh that there. As you can see now, the default Rolex watch is in position two uh, so that you have that order. So this is really good if you're trying to, you know, sort things a certain way in your store so it's more visible, certain products you want to appear higher. Um, this will also reflect automatically as well on any sections on your featured products uh, on your home page so as you can see here the featured products we have this under the watch collection and as you can see that sorted order is also appearing here automatically on the home page um, if you've added some featured product uh, collections on your home page as you can see that's the only one that we have here on this store um, but it will also reflect and just to keep in mind that it will also automatically reflect as well uh, in anywhere else that you have that featured collection that featured collection order uh, will also reflect not just on the specific collection page but also anywhere where you have then done like a featured product section for a given collection with like, as you can see here, these are the watches that are uh, featured and we have them now in the first and second slot. Um, so it is more visible. Uh, again, go back to the watch collection. As you can see here, it's still in that manual order. So that's how you go about changing uh, your products manually in your Shopify store. Again, there's a wide variety of different options you have here, um, but that's how you change it if you want things um, to look a certain way as well. And again, you could do this for really any other collections. Like if you wanted to, uh, let's just say we created a new collection, let's just call it uh, clothing. Right, if you're creating one from scratch, this is essentially what you would do. Um, we're going to actually keep this as a manual collection. The previous one that we just edited was an automated collection where existing and future products matching the condition like it had set as Rolex in the title. Um, this is a more manual collection if you want to create a, a grouping of products more manually. Um, so this one, we're going to select the beanie. Uh, we're going to select the jeans because this is a clothes one. So shirt and pink pants. Uh, and then we're going to go here, click manual. Um, okay, this one will be sorted manually after save. So we got to save the collection first. Um, now that uh, clothing collection has been saved and then now we can sort it manually uh, and we can move those products around. So maybe we want um, the pants to be featured first. Maybe we want jeans, pink pants, and then shirt and the beanie last. Um, maybe we want that to be set that way uh, and then we can go ahead and click view on online store and as you can see here now the clothing is sorted in that specific order so we got the jeans first then the pink pants and the shirt and the beanie um, given our manual selection so we can move that order around however we want uh, and this goes the same as well like I said before for whenever you're going to be um, manually uh, selecting collections if you're adding them to your nav navigation and you you know you add the uh, collection link uh, and they people go in they click it they'll see that page with the featured sorted products in that manual sorting order um, any time that they go to uh, any of these collection pages that you create in your Shopify store uh, as well as you know Anytime you feature them in like a home page or any other page where you're going to be adding specific sections um, featuring certain collections, that order will also be reflected there. Uh, so yeah, guys, that pretty much wraps up this video here today. I hope you found this helpful on how to uh, sort your products and you know change the overall order of your products manually in your Shopify store. Pretty easy to do, um, but I get it can be a little bit tricky if you're a brand new beginner to Shopify. And again. On that note, if you do not already have a Shopify store, of course, you can go and check out that first link down below in the video description. That's brandvaleski.com forward slash Shopify. We'll take you right over to this page here where you can get started with a Shopify free trial. Again, that's that first link down below in the video description. If you guys found this tutorial uh, helpful, then be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Uh, but anyway, guys, that is all for today's video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.